All right, so this is number six on the factoring worksheet. We're going to do this exactly like we did numbers one and two and three and four, all those. The only difference is it's going to have to worry a little bit about signs. So I'm going to start this off by listing out the factors. What are the factors of the one that's in the front? One and one, right? What letter would I need next to those? X's. Now, the factors of six. What's the first thing that pops in your head when you think of six? What times what? Three and two. Now, three and two, two times three is, or two plus three, is that going to be seven? No. no, it's not. So two and three aren't going to work. So we're going to have to pick different numbers. What other numbers would we have to use? One and six. Now, that is all well and good. So if you look at that and you multiply, one times one is one, and one times six is six, which does make seven when you add them, but do I have a seven in the middle? Yes. What do I have? A negative seven. So that's not going to add to a negative seven. It's going to add to a positive seven. So what we're going to have to worry about is the signs of the numbers. There are other ways to make positive six by multiplying, not just one and six. You've got to change both of them. Negative one times negative six, is that still positive six? Yeah, and X negative one, one plus negative six, is that negative seven? Yeah. yeah, it is. So those are the right numbers. Those are the numbers that work. So I'm going to go ahead and rewrite it. What is the factored version? How would I write it? And? One X minus six. Very good. So that's the factored version. That's not really all that different. You just have to pay attention to the sign. That's the only difference there. Okay? But let's go ahead and jump ahead to number 10. It's on yeah, the back see, side. That's what I was about to ask. <coughs> number 10 is a little different. A little bit. Okay, it still has one negative sign. But we're going to have to just start it off the normal way. We need a 1 and a 1 for this 1 right here. What letters would there be? R. In R. Now what I need to do is think of the factors of 20. What multiplies to 20? 10, 1. 10 and 1 multiply to 20? Okay, 10 and 2. 10 and 2 make 20. Oh, so they're going to subtract to get the middle number. But why? Because the side number is negative. Okay, that is true. So the side number is negative. negative. Does 10 and 2 put together, does that multiply to a negative 20? No, it doesn't. What negative would? 10. Negative 2. Negative okay. Two or negative you could try a negative 10 and a positive 2. No. Would that oh, make yeah. a positive no. 8? No. What would that make? That would make a negative 8. Or so 10, would be 10 and negative 2, does that make a positive 8? Yeah. Right. yeah. When you do the cross multiplication, positive 10, negative 2 would make a positive 8, so that would work. What we'll then need to do is rewrite it. So it would be 1r plus 10 and 1r minus 2. This is Are there any questions about that? You see how that's a little different? Yes. Okay. I'm going to get, jump you ahead a little bit farther. This is not any different at all from the last one. We're going to go ahead to number 14. This one does not just have one negative, but it has two negatives. I don't know. I think it just gave me an error message. I'm on 13. Let's uh, go ahead and do the one and the one. What numbers would multiply to a negative 14? Okay, 2 and 7 multiplies to a positive 14. I need to make one of them negative. Which one would I make negative in this case? Seven. Why the 7? Why would you make that one negative? Uh, same negative five. Five. Plus two. Very good. Negative 7 plus 2 is negative 5. So since the bigger number is negative in this case, that means your answer will be negative. You do the cross multiply, that's going to be 2. Negative 7 is negative 5. So that works out just fine. So what is plus 2 and then n minus all right, n plus 2 and n minus 7 works. You do not have to write the 1. You can write it just as the n, as you have said, because 1 really doesn't matter in these types of problems. Are there any questions about those? No. No, good. All right, go ahead and get started on that. Finish it up. No, honey.